In this video, I will answer an important question that comes up on every consultation that I do with my clients. The question is how often you should get into hyperbaric chamber, how many sessions a week you should be getting to get the best results. There's no easy answer to this question. And the reason is that every treatment should be personalized to get the best results. What you need might be different from what somebody else needs, but there are general rules that I'd like to go over today and that will give you some guidance into the frequency and number of hyperbaric sessions. First of all, we should be looking at the condition that we're using this hyperbaric chamber for. Is it an acute injury? Is it a diabetic wound? Both of these conditions will require daily treatments and sometimes you will even need to get a treatment twice a day with a four hour break between the treatments. If you go to the clinic to receive your treatments, usually you'll take Saturday and Sunday off. That's a normal practice because the clinic is closed. And there are other conditions which are more chronic in nature and usually those are neurological conditions whether we're using a hyperbaric treatment for autistic spectrum disorder, multiple sclerosis, other disease with an autoimmune origin. Uh, are we using it to support a patient uh, who is getting treatment for Lyme disease? All of these conditions will require a large number of treatments. Therefore, they might be spaced further apart. It's important to understand that a single treatment rarely works unless you're getting it for a specific indication such as bends, uh, which is decompression sickness, for example, where it would make a huge difference. But for chronic conditions, you, we need series of treatments. It's a continuous therapy. Other factor that we should consider is other therapies that we use to support us in recovery especially if these therapies are pro-oxidant, if they create oxidative stress. Example of the therapies that create oxidative stress are hydrogen peroxide therapy, ozone therapy, chemotherapy, and antioxidant therapy that can turn pro-oxidant when applied in large quantities. For example, high dose vitamin C is a pro-oxidant therapy because we're giving it in large dose. Same is beta carotene when given in large dose becomes pro-oxidant. The reason is that we don't want to overwhelm your body with too much oxidative stress. Therefore, we should look and space therapies in a way that you not getting too much oxidative stress. You will also notice that you might need less hyperbaric treatments when hyperbarics is combined with other pro-oxidative therapies. Of course, we need to consider availability and access to hyperbaric chamber. Do you have to travel to get your hyperbaric treatments or do you have a hyperbaric chamber available at home? This will determine whether you're getting a daily treatments or maybe you're getting treatments uh, two or three times a week. Again, as a general rule, it's not recommended to get less than two or three uh, treatments a week and not to space the treatments uh, um, too far apart. I hope this answered your question. Please give this video likes so more people can see it. And if you like this content, subscribe to our channel. We post videos about hyperbaric therapy every week.